right, as you can see, I have all the valves out. Now, at this point, it's really important to note, to mention that you should keep the valves in the order in which they were in the engine, so they can go back or in the head, so they can go back in the same order. Because each valve is seats to that valve seat itself. So make sure you keep your valves in the proper order. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and set them over here. Again, I'm keeping them in the same order, left to right, as they came out. Use the coffee cup with which to hold all the small parts, the valve retainer, the valve spring retainers, the valve seals, and the little rubber seals for the valves themselves. And I'm going to put the valve springs next to the valve so they belong. Now I always set them down as I'm looking at the valve in the head, left to right. So I would reverse the order on my table. I'll show you over there. Um, there, you see. So that's just like they would, I'll be looking at the head from my side over there. Let's put this back in there. Sorry about that. All right. So, put this over here. We're done with this until we put the head back together. Now we're ready to go on to the next stage, which is uh, filling the valve ports. So I'm gonna spin the, my little table around here. So as you can see, let me double check your vision. Oh, golly gee, you can see everything from there, all right. So now what you have is you have a head, it's extremely awkward to handle by the way, uh, so you want to get it propped in such a position that you can work on it, and that's what I found this works very well for. If I just show it in this right spot, it, it sets up perfectly. Then it's weighted more heavily to the front, so if you get this level, it'll still sit there, which is about like that, and that's where we're going to be having it when we do the casting part, okay? But for now, this is good enough. So. We take our roll of handy wrap, and what we're going to do is we are going to fill these valve tent passages with plastic. I know there's a lot of you out there right now that are, if you're a mechanic, you're screaming bloody murder. Oh my god, if you don't know what you're doing, don't touch a head. Well, you know what? I think it's okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm pulling this out of the box a little at a time, hopefully, a little at a time. And we're going to simply, well, we'll get to this. I'm just going to simply shove it up in there until we get about an inch and a half is what we want. So I'm going to be compressing it. So I'm going to shove it way up in there. Just keep shoving, keep shoving until it's full. You do this all four of the ports. It takes a little bit of finagling, but again, it works. So, you just shove it and shove it and shove it until you get it compressed up in there. Once you do, you push it back down, push it just a little bit more. And what this plastic does is ensures that the rosin that, you, that you're going to be pouring in here, the epoxy, is not going to get down to your valve, which is really important. Uh, so you want to make it nice and tight. You just shove it up in there until you, you're comfortable with it. That's still not good enough. So let's take some more over here. Shove it up in there until it comes out the top, tight. Isn't this lovely? Real time watching somebody mess with heads. I think it's fascinating stuff. Aerodynamics which is what this is all about, is changing the aerodynamics in such a way as to increase your fuel efficiency. So, now, there we go, we're rolling it right up into place. And that is pretty doggone tight, if I do say so myself, a little high, but let me fix that. So what I'm looking for is one digit is about an inch. Well, I want these to be one inch deep. You see where my finger is? It's lined up right there at one inch, so we're going to push it back in a little bit for a half inch there, okay? Now that's where a 74 Dodge Slant 6 caught me a week ago. All right, and so now that you've got that done, it's ready to go on to the next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to you when I get all four of these ports filled. Talk to you in a minute.